to Plants vs. Zombies. We're here for Survival Night with the Fog. And this one, I explained in the last video, I was like, you know what? We're doing this all with starfruits. There'll be a couple exceptions to that, but mostly it's starfruits. And I get out the kernel bolts thinking, oh, I'm gonna use them. No, only starfruits. And four cattails. But only four star fruits. And and the puff shrooms. Because that really helps during the night. And I am glad that there are visible spots in the uh, fog. Because otherwise I would not know to put that guy there. Now can anybody tell me, I don't know if the DS game actually has, uh, the fog and everything. Is it, is the DS game essentially this, except for, uh, on the DS? Actually, I think it's a DSi game, technically. Uh, downloadable content type stuff, but not. <coughs> Take down the Conehead Zombie! Do it for the motherland! Yai! Yai? Yai? Wow. <sighs> I don't know what to say about this challenge. This challenge is interesting. Uh, cause Starfruit, if you're using a Starfruit, it, it, gotta remember that it does not fire forward. So if you want to hit something, you have to plan ahead on some angle. Otherwise it doesn't hit it. Unless it's like directly in front of it. If it's directly in front of it, then both the sides will hit it. Which is pretty handy, because... Well, I mean, it's pretty handy because it is. Also, having the puff shrooms too are pretty handy as well. Now I know I'm using the kernel pulse right now, but to quickly change, I'm going to just use the star fruit. And as I start to say that, that's when it goes into effect. We need something else to actually hit him. Oh, and you got rid of my potato mine! And as you can see, the starfruit are actually pretty strong. I mean, they're not the strongest thing, but they they appear to be just a tiny bit stronger than the uh, pea shooters. Hey, that's that's uncool, man. Can't see. It's also good to bring the magnet shrooms, especially for this, because. There are going to be a lot of stuff that you can't really see, or predict, or whatever. I'd also recommend if you're going to do the all star shroom- star shrooms. Star fruit, like I am right now, to always bring the lanterns. Uh, do that with the dupl- with the, uh, what was it called? The imitator. Have, uh, dual pumpkins, because it'll be very handy. And... The four up at the front, that's the one I'm going to be doing uh, the cat tails with, because they will throw balloons at you later, so just to kind of have it handy already to have something that will aim and take down the, uh, the balloons whenever. 
Okay, as you can see right now, all so many stars flying around. So cool. And even though it doesn't look like it, you can put uh, the pumpkins around the cattails because they can use it. Or I guess it still counts as it being on a separate platform or something. I don't know. Darn you, dolphin zombies! But there are way too many stars flying around that it doesn't matter. Were they throwing zombonies at us? It's really annoying. They are. I saw something explode, so I wonder. Yep, so we're essentially all bunkered up. Oh no, it was the whatchamacallit. The driver zombies, whatever. Which are annoying. We're essentially all bunkered up. Uh, we only have a couple more of the cattails to work, and that's about it. Hmm, I wonder if you can put pumpkins around spike weed. There'd be no point to it, because they'd have to eat the pumpkin and then they'd be hit by the spike weed. But I wonder. If they could... And see? There we had the balloons coming in. So... I tell you the truth, man! I've been seeing it with my own eyes, man! They coming! They coming to get ya! Okay, that was a little creepy, but I don't care. For some reason, I'm like, you know what? I want to do a pattern, so I do a pattern. Look at all those stars flying around. I thought this would be terribly hard to pull off. No, it's actually not that bad. I'm getting a lot of zombies. Uh, a lot of zombies. A lot of plants, a lot of, uh, uh, diamonds, uh, tune in to the finale of this to see what actually got in all these. Uh, and by that I mean all the plants that it keeps throwing at us. What actually I got in all that. I am sorry to anybody that's wanting to see all of the gardens. I am not going to do that. It takes way too much to get all of it. And as you can see, you can pl complete basically everything else without getting everything. The uh, Game of the Year edition kind of made that a little bit different. In, or made that a little bit more viable to get everything because they also added achievements. And <laughs> I do not have that, so I can't show how to get all the achievements. If I did, I would. Um, but most of the achievements are pretty self-explanatory, or the game will explain it itself. Like there's one where you need to blow up a zombie with a, with a potato gr or potato mine. There's several other ones, stuff like that. One thing to note with the imitator, uh, it does have a delay period. So if there are zombies trying to eat something while it's on that delay period, it will eat the imitator and then it won't have its full effect. So if you try to put it in and it turns into one of the pumpkins, it has to turn into one of the pumpkins. It doesn't automatically become a pumpkin. Or have the same strength as a pumpkin. And right now, as you can see, I'm just waiting for it to... Uh, get going, because I have 2,000 sun, which actually will come into play fairly soon, so, 
or the fact that I have a lot of sun. And there, that's an example of it, yeah, of what I was talking about before. As you saw there with the, uh, on the middle lane of the pool. But we're getting up close to, uh, flag number, s flag number eight. Come on, come on, get to flag number eight. You can do it. You can do it. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> there we go. All right. The latter zombies are really annoying. If you have you been playing the game along with me, you would know that already. They're very annoying. I don't think the zombies realize that the closer they get, the uh, worse the star pounding will be. And now we have to deal with gargantors with starfruit. And at this point, I was like, hmm... Probably not gonna make it. I just have that prediction. Probably not. And this is where I'm saying, make sure you bring all the pumpkins, or all the, uh lanterns and whatnot. As you can see, that one lantern down at the bottom is go doesn't have a plant, so it's going to go pretty soon. Ah, but I put one on it. And there we go. Top one's out. Bottom one will be out pretty soon. So this is where I'm just like playing in the dark here, just kind of throwing stuff out. And I kind of, as you notice, I took out two uh, spots there in the middle there. That was mostly because I can throw down, like, say, the ice room or something like that, and take out, or freeze the entire field. I used to think the doom shroom was the entire field. I now know that it's not. There's another example of it, the imitator having to take its own sweet time to change. And now we're playing in the dark, yay! This is actually very frightening, especially when you realize that there's a Gargantor. Flag number nine. Also dealing with the, uh, the one zombies, the, uh, the cart zombie things. All you can't see is also very annoying, because you can't see and suddenly, it's taking out your entire lines, and you don't know why! But I'm glad that Starfruits don't have to just fire for it, because that line is still protected. And Starfruits do an excellent job of taking out Gargantors, actually. Or a fairly decent job. I mean, look at that! I'm barely using anything on them. Last flag. Last flag. We can do this. We can pull it together. We can pull it through. Spoiler, I do pull it through. And I will see you guys on the next episode of Plants vs. Zombies. That's an odd gargantor. I haven't actually seen it holding the uh, plant before. Or the a zombie before. So I'll see you next time. One, two, three, four.